to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's look, I have this very chocolatey brown with a pop of color for my lips. I am so excited for spring. I just want to wear very colorful lips. And I know we're like a month away from spring, but I really, really want warmer weather. It's been awfully cold here in San Diego. We're not used to having this cold weather. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring a little bit more of a brighter lip. Before we get started, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. So yeah, let's get started with this makeup look. Okay, so I'm going to start with the color Universal, and I'm just going to apply that on a Morphe M533. I'm trying to go for a very like chocolatey brown uh, look today. So we're just going to apply this as our transition, making sure that we blend those edges. And then I took the color Orb and applied a little bit of that one on top of Universal with that same M535 brush. And then I'm going to take the color Flux and with a clean M535, I'm going to put that one on my crease and then I'm just going to take a Sigma E40 brush clean and I'm going to blend my edges and then I'm going to take the Sigma E52 and it's, this is just a soft um, shader brush and I'm just going to apply the color Rich and I'm going to take that and apply it, pack it on my lid. And as you can see we're going to blend those edges in a little bit. I'm just trying to pack that color it does have a little bit of fallout and it was my bad I did my foundation before I decided what look I wanted to go for today <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep going back and packing that color and then with that first M535 brush I'm going to take that same color rich and a little bit, just a little bit of product and then I'm going to start blending that on my crease. Going back with that E40 brush and I'm just going to blend my edges. And then for my lower lash, I'm going to be taking the Sigma E39 Buff and Blend brush and I'm going to go back with the color Flux. And then with a Sigma E20 short shader brush, I'm going to be taking the color Rich and applying it really close to my lower lash line. Now, I did get a lot of fallout, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go in with the Well Rested uh, Bare Minerals Concealer Powder. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit this. This is uh, to brighten your under eye. But I usually use it to cover if I had any fallout. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit um, of that powder in a Morphe M554. I'm so used to doing my foundation before my eyeshadows. 
that sometimes I forget that, you know, like, I am going to get a little bit of fallout, so... For today's lashes, I'm going to be taking the Risqué by Coco Lashes. Um, Rob Beauty Christie raves about these lashes, and I had to order some. And I'm going to take the Duo uh, Brush and Adhesive. This is in the dark. And she actually, Rob Beauty Christie put up a video. Um, I'm not sure when, but it's all about um, applying lashes. And I actually learned few things that I actually hadn't thought about. So I'm actually trying one thing right now. Um, I usually apply my mascara before putting on my lashes, but today I was like, I'm gonna say some, I'm gonna try something new. So I didn't apply um, mascara because she says that it's easier to like apply the lashes. So I'm trying that today. These lashes are so beautiful. Definitely something I would wear. So for lips, while my lashes are drying, I'm going to be taking this EXO Beauty um, Matte Lipstick and this is in the color Philokily, Philokily? and it's a mauve uh, color and I think it's going to go perfect with our eye look for today. So I'm just going to apply this. Mm. No, I don't, I don't quite like that combo, let's see. I have um, this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the color London Fog. It's pretty. I like it. I don't know if I love it. <laughs> We'll see. We'll let it dry a little bit because I know that these um, lipsticks tend to dry a tiny bit. They don't dry matte. Um, so I'm just going to wait and see how I like it. Um, I'm going to apply some mascara to my lashes. And I'm going to be taking the uh, Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. And I'm going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes. Baby hairs are driving me crazy. Crazy. 